Hi, it's Kip and Bates here, and I've got a first copy of a hardback version of my book. Now, when I was talking to various other people who'd been published recently about how the price for their book had been arrived at, uh, one of the things I noticed was that the hardbacks were always had insanely high prices. I mean, we're talking things like $80, $90, $100 for a hardback copy for speciality books in niche markets. And I kind of wondered what was going on there. And one reason given was that academic libraries don't care about those costs. They just buy a copy, put it on the shelf. And so for the publisher to make any money out of it, they price the uh, books high accordingly. But I think I've actually got a better answer to my question now. And it boils down to a global distribution fee. If uh, I may sell a copy of this on lulu.com, then uh, I get a pretty decent royalty, but I've had to price it at $47.99 because there's a $29 distribution fee if a copy of it is shipped to and sold on Amazon or some other book site. Now that seems pretty steep per book copy and effectively it means that you need to go pretty high in pricing, especially since making a hardback has three times the production costs of a softback. So, uh, as it happens, if I sell a copy of this on Amazon, the hardback version, um, I actually make half the royalties that I do if I sell a paperback copy. Anyway, just a brief post. Firstly, opportunity to plug the hardback version, although, quite frankly, unless you want to get a copy as a kind of souvenir keepsake, I would uh, stick with the paperback or the ebook, which I think should be out in the next five or so days. So keep your eyes out for that if you insist on reading books digitally. And um, uh, that's it for today. See you in the next video soon. Bye for now.